Hello everyone and uh, welcome to this video about playing mp3 files from your Qt application on Android. Um, when I tried this at first I did it on my desktop computer on my laptop and that worked very easy out of the box with the code you can see right here. But when I deployed it to my Android smartphone I had some issues and um, especially I got the error message that QC media player is not present and the other thing is uh, that the program couldn't find the, the file no such file or directory when I typed this message into Google I found out that I'm not the only one with this problem but I didn't found any solution as well and uh, yeah in the duration of this video I will show also how I solved this one because I was not so aware of the folder structure on the Android smartphone. Um, yeah, okay, the next thing I tried that I I've recognized the C, so I thought maybe I have to include QC Media Player and then it underlines it and uh, telling me it doesn't know it. And I was wondering how this could be because of the beginning with the letter Q, I thought it must be a QT issue or something and um, yeah after a while I was thinking about it if it's really a QT problem or maybe something else and um, yeah then I was um, as I said I was looking on Google for this uh, message and I found um, forum threads where people telling that uh, QC media player is not installed on the device if it, this error message is thrown then I was looking for information how to install it and I didn't found something as well and um, yeah then it uh, came to my mind that um, Android is a yeah or, or no I'm, I'm starting from somewhere else I was looking um, for simply media player and so I typed uh, these keywords into Google and uh, I was finding on the Android developers website that the media.media .media is um, RP from Android and uh, since Android is, uh, is actually a, a Java thing I went to Google again and I typed in these keywords and to find out if it's possible directly to uh, or not if it is possible more how it is possible to play mp3 files from on Android from Java code and um, then I found this this site and uh, yeah it's um, some kind of a demonstration of a simple mp3 player but I wanted to strip it down as to the lowest level possible because that's how I like to start uh, um, solving problems so um, the things which came to my mind were at first uh, these three lines the media player I don't know yet if I need this bundle and the environment but yeah I copied them as well then I was um, passing through this source code to find something uh, I didn't want to play it from a uh, RTTP path I want to play it from a local path so I was passing through the source code and uh, yeah I found this method playing audio URL and uh, yeah this looks like the very basic lines I need here's the instantiation of the media player the directory is set uh, obviously I need some kind of prepare and uh, start okay um, on this point I know that it is possible and how it is possible to play um, mp3 files from Java on Android the next thing is, um, is it possible to access Java code from Qt applications? So of course I went to Google again and typed in these keywords and Google told me there is a Qt notifier example from the, yeah, from the Qt framework and uh, this is a example project was can be found in the Qt creator and uh, yeah what it does it, it gives you a Qt designed uh, surface 
but in the background it runs um, it runs uh, Java code. This gives an example of how to access Java code from Qt applications. We can take a step into this. Um, this notification, this is the the example project I've opened from yeah from the welcome area in Qt Creator. And here on the bottom you can see that here are Java related files and the Java code which is connected to the notification client which is written in C++. Um, and here you can see the lines I've copied from the website shown earlier. This is the media player and uh, some very basic lines of code. Uh, this is the instantiation and uh, the path to the music file, the prepare and yeah, then the start of the media player. Yeah, one thing was uh, for me in a little bit new to find out where Android actually stores the, the music files and how the, uh, how the file structure is made. Because when I'm looking to my <coughs> one second to my smartphone when I'm starting from my computer surface where I can see the hard drive and my smartphone and I go into it, here's some kind of internal storage and here's a bunch of um, of directories. Here's one Android, and uh, I'm until now I'm not so really in, into this, so I thought maybe this is some kind of root or something, since I know Android is a Linux distribution. And okay, here are movies and the music. Okay, and for example, this will be the MP3 file I want to play. So yeah, at first I tried simply to tip in these directories somehow of course there is nothing like computer but I thought mm, I was wondering how it can be that uh, this file is outside from a or this directory is outside from a directory I was thinking maybe some kind of root and uh, then I used um, a Qt demonstration project which is the uh, find file example and there you can browse through the uh, yeah, through the directory, through the directories from the smartphone from the view of a program. So when you tip the browse button, you have the computer, what whatever it means, and when you go into this directory, you can scroll through the different next directories which are found there. And after a while trying around, I found out that I have to go to SD card, which, oh, whoa, that was wrong. I have to go to SD card, which is, which looks to be some kind of internal storage. And yeah, here is the music. And when I choose this directory and press the find button, here yeah, it finds the journey MP3 file. And in this in directory um, text space, it shows me the directory name from the view of a program. So I can type this directory into my program like this. And okay, and that's yeah the way to go. And from here, I we have all information bundled together. Um, first thing, how to play MP3 files on a, um, via a Java program and how it is possible to access Java code from Qt and how the naming conventions and the directory structures are made on the Android system. And uh, now I'm going to start this modified example project. It was the notification. Yeah, here, here we go. And when I press it, you can hear it's starting to play this music.
yeah, um, thank you very much for watching this video and I hope it helps you. I, I would have been glad to find something like this earlier. So, um, maybe, to, maybe we see us in the next video. Bye!